Hey there, welcome back. It has been a minute since I put out a video about Kirimoto and it has a whole new UI. So I thought now would be a good time to cover that at least briefly. The uh, default interface now still brings you to 3D printing and brings up this menu, which you can dismiss. The purpose of the redesign is to make it a little bit more explicit what you can do instead of having to discover things under other menus and to lay out the different modes that you're going to be operating in here, as well as the different device types that you can access here, uh, which are more explicitly called out. So here we are 3D printing, CNC, SLA, and the new breakouts for laser, water jet, wire EDM, and drag knife. So these now have their own specific devices and the device dialog is a little bit clearer and cleaner. So you can select the devices and edit them here. Um, the look and feel is just designed to be a little bit cleaner and to make settings all in one place, uh, as well as, again, whether we're slicing or previewing or doing things like editing ranges. And I think one of the things that was pretty powerful for a long time is the ability in Kirimoto to edit ranges, but they weren't really called out in a way that was obvious where, like, say here, I want to put in one shell instead of three. And you'll see that called out immediately. You can then slice it and see your changes in real time. So again, the UI here is a little bit more explicit. You can collapse and expand, which goes back to one of the earlier conceits that we had in like the early three series and two series. And that changed a little bit later on to, I think, an overly simplified interface, as well as the ability to do things like control the views of objects here, change your focal point, which makes it a lot easier, especially in belt mode, to uh, move around. Things like laying a face flat on the bed is a lot easier now through these callouts. Um, things like scaling and rotation and controlling for extruders. And then in CNC mode, um, our operation list has gone from being on the bottom of the screen down here to being on the right side over here, which I think you know is just a little bit cleaner it's a little bit more natural. You get more screen real estate to, to edit things. We have a timeline that's easier to slide around and edit. And so again, these are just some really simple changes to the way the interface is laid out, but I hope it's a lot cleaner. I do look forward to your feedback. So please let me know what you think about these changes uh, in the comments or on Discord or anywhere else. As usual, you can go in here and change the version that you're using if you wanna drop back to an earlier version where you prefer a different UI. The help is a little bit dated. I do need to make a full new video to cover all the features. Um, and the other thing that's really big in this release is that we're now doing desktop builds. So you can build and run this locally. You don't have to run it off the website. So if you go to the GitHub page for grid space um, and grid apps, you can go to the releases tab and download an image for your operating system. Let me know if one's missing that you would like to see. And I can probably add a build for that pretty easily. So looking forward to your feedback. Thanks for your time.